here. Just going to do a demo on, I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to call it yet, but we'll see what happens. Okay, um, so for this recipe, you need um, 300 grams of uh, Cadbury uh, dairy milk chocolate. So whatever that makes it. I think I did like seven. I should have done seven in a little bit, but seven will work. Uh, six of these shredded wheat and kind of rough them up. I, so far, I'm making my stack cooker, which is awesome. I'm probably just going to use most of the stack cooker, I'm thinking. It was already starting to melt. I put like some boiling hot water in there and I'm using it as a double boiler. So as you can see, it's already melting. Haven't I put it in for maybe two minutes uh, in my microwave. I'm just going to put it in for a little bit more and then and mush this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so tried mushing that. So now I'm gonna have to try. Um, okay. Oh no, oh no, no. Okay, I got another one, I hope. Oh yes, yay. It's chocolate all over my heel, I can just feel it, but oh well. And, Okay. Oh, this looks good already. Woohoo! It smells so good. Mmm, chocolate. Yeah, I missed the um I missed the oh, fondue set. I can't remember exactly what it's called, and I would look it up, but I kind of got my hands full right now, so sorry about that. Do with you. Um, so yeah, I was so excited today. Like, I'm on Lent, right? And I have been on Lent. I've been trying to like give up alcohol, and my, I mean, you know, my basement's covered full of it, right? And I'm giving them out with the bottles to everybody who's purchased my eco bottles, Tupperware eco bottles, sorry, from me. And, and I was handing that out today. All, all my husband's wine, you know, and I was just like, oh, 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 I could totally use, use some wine, you know, but it ain't gonna happen. Oh boy, I think is this gonna be enough? Hmm. Yeah, let's put some of this in here and use some of that, right? I think my mom used to do that. Okay. My big scrapers in the in the kit and that's upstairs, so so that cats don't get fur balls all over it. And my little scraper is somewhere. Oh, yeah. Maybe I could use this. I don't know. This is kind of pretty good, though. But, let me see if I can do a little bit better stuff with this. Okay. This looks pretty good. Okay. Now, I'm going to put it into some muffin tins. And I'll be right back, okay? Or I'll put muffin tins. So, I'll show you, showing you what I did. Okay, so I went to Dollarama. They had this awesome, uh, I don't know, paisley print, I guess. See, you could see it maybe better. Roses and paisley, so awesome. It reminds me of spring and coziness and yumminess. So I put that in here. And these peeps, they're birthday cake peeps. How cute are they? Little spring colors, and they match bang on with the muffin tins, okay? Or muffin liners. Um, I'm just gonna start scooping and I'll be right back. Okay, so I used, I don't know if you have one of these, I just the first thing I grabbed, right? Um, I have like a bunch of other utensils, but this is like the first thing that was there. So I thought, yeah, I'll totally use that. So that's about the right proportion. So one of those in every, like, and it makes like 12, like bang exactly. Like I'm going to squish that in there. Yeah, too. And then 
Um, I gotta wash up my hands because my hands were a little bit bleh, right now before I touch my little chippy peepees. Before I touch my peeps. Touch my peeps. Touch my peeps. Okay, just hang on. I'll just press pause. I'll be right back. Okay, so it, it's real, it was really sticky pressing it down. So then I used like Rice Krispie Cake and just kind of got that cool, you know, and then just kind of squashed it down because the peep has to sit on top of it anyway. And that worked really pretty good. It's not all, you know, some of these are empty, but I don't want to piss around with it again. So I'm just going to put the peeps on now. Pause. Okay, I just realized this because I like can't count. Um, so I only have 10 peeps and like 12 little nests. So I guess two people are going to have to go without peeps. So that's kind of, I'm kind of sad about that, but, and then take, most of you don't know that Tupperware does make knives. Uh, and they are awesome knives. This one here is the serrated edge knife. And then there's two more, if I can reach them here. One little paring knife and one, um, I'm not sure what it's called, but bigger than a paring knife. They are awesome and really sharp. That's why you're sharp. You need a cage, right, to contain you. So I'm going to cut them. Oh, I don't want to cut them. Okay, I'm going to try tearing them apart. But it's kind of cool because these things open so that you can... But anyway, I'm going to try tearing them apart, okay? Okay, I tried tearing. I tried cutting. Cutting definitely works better than tearing. And that, and you're touching it less and squashing it less and stuff, so... Oh, and I'm cutting, or my cut surface is also Tupperware as well. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Tupperware, Tupperware. Okay. Okay, and then here's the finished product. I remembered that I had some uh, Smarties, so I put some Easter Smarties in there. Or did I say Smarties? Jelly beans, sorry. And voila. And thanks for watching. And uh, Laura, thanks for the inspiration. When I was watching you do, or no, that was, no, that was Cora. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Uh, Cora, when I seen uh, you do your, um, the, Rice Krispie ones, I thought, oh, wouldn't that be cool with puff wheat and chocolate? Because chocolate is just, you know, so awesome. And I didn't want to, you know, steal your thunder and, you know, copy from what you did. I thought I'd do something a little different. So, yay! Thank you. I think this in uh, my cupcake carry-all or carry-on. Oh, I should look. What is it called? Let me look it up. It's a little beaten up. I kind of take it everywhere with me. Try to make as many people in a day uh, look at it as I can. Some people were excited today because when I go shopping downtown, uh, I wear my uh, Tupperware shirt and my Tupperware um, lanyard and I cannot find it oh I know where it would be here we go betcha yes way easy okay what's it called it is called rectangle cake taker there we go so when I take my rectangle cake taker and I'll put these in there because I didn't want to make cupcakes because like everybody makes cupcakes so these are way more special thanks again thanks Cora I'm going to try doing another thing because I, I had Laura in my mind because I want to try doing those eggs, those deviled eggs. Like, yes, I am going to rip you off, Cora. I mean, Laura. Sorry, Cora, Laura. You see where I'm going? Okay. Adios. Uh, I'm going to, it's on charger right now, but thanks for watching. Till next time. This is Heather. Over and out.